Hola mis amigos, feliz martes. ¿Cómo estás? Estoy bien. Gracias. Hey pals, happy Tuesday. How are you doing? Hope you're doing well. I'm doing very well, thank you. On the 15th of May, I completed a full year and a full 365 day streak on the Duolingo Spanish course. So I am very, very chuffed with myself, I cannot lie. So I wanted to take today's show that off eh, and also just talk about my experience on Duolingo, what I've learned, what I like, what I don't like about it, all that kind of jazz. Because when I've looked online, it's been very much either people loving Duolingo or absolutely hating Duolingo. I fall somewhere more on the loving sides, but also I can see where the people who hate it are coming from. You know what I mean? And I'm gonna try and keep it as vague as possible eh, because I don't wanna be sat here giving you exact word for word translations and I also want to keep this open in case you are looking to start using something like Duolingo but not necessarily for Spanish. I want to make sure it's broad enough that it could apply to any language course, not just the Spanish one. But you know, Spanish is the only course that I've used it for so I'm gonna mainly be referencing the Spanish stuff. I don't think it differs from each course but there might be a few little bits that are different. So just be aware of that. Also be aware that I do not use Duolingo Plus, I do not pay any money. I just use the free version of the app or the desktop website, whatever you want to call it. I do not give Duolingo any funds of mine. I do not have the funds to be given away like that, so they don't get any money from me. <laughs> but what actually is Duolingo? Uh, it's a free language learning app or website which covers a broad variety of languages, including some really cool fake ones from like TV shows and films and stuff. Oh my Christ, I sound like an advert. This is not sponsored by the way. Duolingo, if you would like to sponsor me, you could give me a free Duolingo Plus membership. That'd be very much appreciated. Um, but no, this is not sponsored. I did not mean for that to sound as advertise as it did. Christ. And of course, I chose the Spanish course. Uh, I love Spain. The majority of holidays that I've been on in the past have been to Spain. I love Spanish music. Davicio, Ricky Martin. Maluma, Cheyenne. I absolutely, I just love everything Spanish. So I thought I would take the initiative during lockdown to actually learn some Spanish because you never know. I plan on going back to Spain some point in the future when I can, maybe, if that's ever possible. And learning the language would be good because I can actually ask for things and converse with people. And in an emergency situation, I can speak Spanish if need be. Of course, I started it in lockdown when everyone was like, oh, I, I learned to make bread. I built a pub in my back garden. Ugh. I learned a wee drop Spanish and by a wee drop, I mean a wee drop. The Spanish course currently has nine, I, I, that took too long for me to think of many fingers there, nine checkpoints um, of which I have completed one. I'm almost at the second one. I'm almost at checkpoint two. I know that doesn't sound like very much, but have a look at exactly what that has covered, right? Hold on, I'm not the best at this. I'm left-handed, hold on. I do have a Spanish book, by the way. I write every single lesson in here. Almost two checkpoints worth. Look at all the lovely colours and the lovely Spanish words and their translations. Yes, it's all rainbow colour coordinated because I'm indecisive, I can't pick one colour, so I just say use them all. You do not need to have a book to learn. I'm just one of the people that learns a bit better if they write it down, I remember it better. I also have Spanish songs, which I enjoy, uh, that I have loosely translated in the back. Any topic that I'm covering, I write down the Spanish word and then the English translation, uh, or any phrases that like don't really stick in my head that well when I'm actually using the app. So yeah, that's my book. You do not need to have a book but it just helped me to remember it better. If you're also someone who learns from writing things down, get a book, uh, but you don't need it if you don't want it. But anyway, back to the app. Like I said, it has nine checkpoints uh, and each checkpoint is made up of levels or branches, if you want to call them. I don't really know what they're called. I just call them circles because they are circular. And each circle is made up of usually five lessons, sometimes six, sometimes four. It just depends on what topic you're on. On the computer, there's usually just five levels, but if you're on your phone, then there's a sixth level as well. Uh, this is a legendary level, which I will go into more detail about in a little bit. On the mobile app, you are limited to just five lives and every time you make a mistake you lose a life and once you hit zero you have to wait a certain amount of time for them to refill but also you can pay with your gem or with money or if you have duolingo plus you have unlimited lives uh, but here's a little life hack for you if you run out of lives just log on to duolingo through a desktop or through like a web browser instead and it'll take you to the website version where there is no life system. You can make as many mistakes as you want and it does not stop you from learning at any point. It's clearly just them trying to put some microtransactions in there. But you don't have to. 
pay for anything. And with Duolingo Plus, obviously I don't pay for it. All of the learning stuff is completely free. Duolingo Plus is literally just plus, you know, it's like added on stuff for like progress reports, pronunciation help, and like downloading offline courses and stuff. I don't personally use Duolingo Plus, but it does sound pretty useful in some ways, uh, but you're not actually losing out on learning anything by not buying Duolingo Plus. Just wanted just to know that in case you're thinking, oh my God, this is rubbish unless I pay for that. It's not, you can use it without it. I've used it for 365 days on the trot without it. You don't need it. It takes a bit of the pressure off not worrying about, oh my God, I've made a mistake. Oh my God, I've only got two lives left. If I make two more mistakes, I can't do any more Spanish. If you just go onto the computer, it takes all of that pressure right off you immediately. When you first create your account as well, you can set your daily goal. Uh, I have mine at quite a leisurely daily goal of 10 minutes a day, which is usually a couple of lessons worth. I'm planning on upping that in the future just because obviously until recently, I have been weighed down by tons and tons of uni work. But now that I'm a wee bit of a free bird, I've got absolutely nothing else to do. So why don't I just learn more Spanish? Why don't I just sit here every day and learn Spanish morning, noon and night? There's nothing stopping me. Not anymore. I don't want to bore you as going into detail about every single circle I've completed alone. So I'll just give you a brief overview of some of the topics that I've covered so far. Obviously you probably saw a couple in my book that I just flashed at you there. But so far I've just learned kind of basic level stuff. Food and drink, basic introductions, workplace chat, restaurant stuff, greetings and phrases, family, people, interactions, travelling, flirting, wink wink, education, emotions, fashion, shopping, activities, leisure, all that kind of thing, all that good stuff. Quite a lot of good topics covered so far. At the moment I'm working on connections, which is like connections between people. Shall I give you an example from my book that I've written down? I've just started it right enough, so I've not got too far into it, which is why I'm referencing my book, because it's not it's not in here yet. For example, tu no me quieres means you don't love me. Obviously it has the stuff that's basics, you're gonna need it for like traveling and stuff. Uh, like booking tables and traveling and asking for directions and that. But it does also have fun things like that, like connections and flirting and like wee fun courses put in between. It's very nice, very fun. As well as you progress and you pass each checkpoint, not only do they add new topics for you to discover like, you know, well, new topics, new things to talk about. There's also kind of the next level up of topics you've already done, if that makes sense. Like for example, you'll have travel one, and then travel to, and travel to is like the words that you've already learned plus some more words and some more context and more like in conversational stuff, you know, it just takes it to the next level and that goes on throughout every single checkpoint. You get a little bit further up the learning ladder. <gasps> when you complete all the lessons within the five levels, then the branch turns gold which means that you've completed it. After a couple of days, that'll crack. And when it cracks, it means that you have to go back just as like a refresher to keep the words in your mind, which I find really, really helpful. And it does help keep it fresh. However, if you're on a tight schedule and you're not wanting to waste your time going back over things, it can be a little bit annoying. However, this is where I'm getting on to the legendary levels that I mentioned a wee bit earlier. These blue ones mean that I've completed the legendary levels. They turn blue after you've completed, I think it's five again, usually. Uh, time trials. I've only done the first few. It gives you a couple minutes to complete each one. Once you complete all five of them, it turns blue and that means it will never crack again and you don't have to go back over it. Uh, one bad thing about these is they cost your gems. Gems are really easy to get, especially if you're hitting your daily goals, but also it's kind of another incentive to make you buy gems because you want to complete the legendary levels, or at least I do. You don't have to, of course, you can just leave it at the normal ones and they stay gold, but if you want them to not crack anymore, you can do that. It's a shame because on the desktop there is no legendary levels. You can stack up what they're, they're called lingots on the computer, but gems on the phone. I don't really get it. I've got a ton of lingots on my desktop uh, that don't transfer over. There's no, like gems and lingots are two completely separate things. They do not transfer when you log in on one or the other. So I've got a bunch of lingots sat there, nothing to do with them. I don't know what, what, what do you do with them? I don't know. But they're all just sat there, like wee lemons. Uh, not getting used. Where on my phone, I am scraping by with the gems, trying to get them to do my legendary levels. Legendary levels are good, but I also think it's another kind of plug for them to say, oh, but if you just get plus, then you can complete all the legendary levels and not have to worry about your gems. But no, you're not, you're not fooling me, Joe. You're not getting me. Do I think Duolingo is worth it? Absolutely yes. If you're someone like me that's learning a language from the base level up, I think it's really good for getting a basic understanding of it. Is it good for advanced learning? I don't know yet. I'm not that far into it. I'm sure there's plenty of other people out there who are advanced language learners. I am not. 
I did French at Nat 5 and then I stopped. That was me. French was enough. I wanted to do higher Spanish in school, but they said that to do that I had to do higher French for some reason. I couldn't just take higher Spanish on its own. And I was like, am I fuck doing higher French? No. You want to hear it in Spanish? No. I wanted higher Spanish and just Spanish, but they were like, no, you have to do French. So I didn't do Spanish in school, even though I really, really wanted to. So for advanced learning, I'm not sure how good it would be. Maybe dig a little bit deeper if you want a proper in-depth advanced thing, just pay to go on an actual lesson. But for a basic level understanding, or if you're like, someone who's learned the language before and you're a wee bit rusty and you're coming back to it, then maybe Duolingo would be good for you. I don't know, I'm not a linguist, I don't know. It's good fun though. And I also feel so productive after using it because usually like you go on your phone for a couple minutes and you scroll when you're in the toilet or before bed or whatever. And instead of scrolling, I just go on Duolingo and do a little lesson. I feel great afterwards. I'm like, yeah, I'm productive. I've also realized I know enough Spanish now to drunkenly say things in Spanish to my friends when we're drinking together and I am so sorry. Lo siento mis amigos. I'm so sorry pals. Oh, I'm so annoying. But I do think it's very worth it. Uh, like I said, Duolingo has a ton of different languages so if Spanish isn't your cup of tea, there's plenty of other things to choose from. Plenty of other languages, including some very niche ones. I've already got so many courses lined up that I want to do. Once I get Spanish out of the way, yeah, it's gonna take a while, I know. I wanna finish the Spanish one. I wanna do Italian. I wanna do Scottish Gaelic. Scottish Gaelic's on there. I want to learn my own native language, thank you very much. Also want to learn Latin. There's a Latin course for my fellow classicists and archaeologists. If you wanna go on and learn some Latin, Duolingo has a Latin course now. How fun is that? They keep bringing out new courses all the time. The courses are very frequently updated. Uh, and there's new languages added all the time. Like the languages are in the works and they say, we've got this language coming out. Any native speakers want to help us with translations and stuff, so they actually ask the community for help. Then the language goes into like a beta version so that people can go and try it and be like, this doesn't work, you know, the usual beta testing. Uh, and then it comes out officially. Isn't it great? <laughs> doesn't it just sound fun? I get that learning languages maybe isn't for everyone. Maybe you, you don't like it, maybe you weren't good at it in school, whatever. But Duolingo is a really, really good and simple, simple app to use. But anyway, I shall round this off now. I don't want to talk for too long. Apologies if this has been a bit vague. Like I said, I'm trying to keep it vague for applying to any language, not just Spanish. Uh, and I really just wanted to show off about my 365 day streak, to be honest. I do highly recommend using Duolingo, whether you're somebody who's rusty and comes back to a language, or if you have never learned a language before in your life, Duolingo will help you with that. Also, you can follow your pals on Duolingo. And if you would like, I would be happy for you to follow me and I will follow you back, of course. Reheart13, R-H-I-H-E-R-T-1-3, there I am. You can't see that, okay? Ooh, I'm a member of the Streak Society. And he's got a wee tuxedo on. Thank you very much, Duolingo. I never knew that. Oh, well, that's well cool. I'm also in the Diamond League. How about that? <laughs> you can congratulate your pals and keep an eye on each other's progress and stuff. So yeah, feel free to add me. Reheart13. But other than that, thank you very much for watching. Gracias para mira. Still quite unsure when it comes to actually formulating sentences in my own head, but we're gonna go with it. Thank you for watching. As always, there are links in the box below to all of my social medias. Twitch, Discord, Instagrams, Twitter, TikTok. I'll see if I can put a link to my Duolingo profile or maybe you'll just have to go by the username. If you made it all the way to the end of this video, don't forget to subscribe. If you made it all the way to the end, what's the point in not subscribing? You know what I mean? You made it all the way here. Might as well. There's a button down there. And there's a wee bell as well. <laughs> that rhymed. There's a wee bell as well. Let me know your opinions of Duolingo as well if you've used it. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Will you consider trying it? Also, I'd like to apologise to anyone Spanish or anyone who can fluently speak Spanish for my horrific accent. I need to perfect my accent, to be honest. I'm still so Scottish when I say things. I'm like, I literally sound like Kevin Bridges. Una mesa para cuatro, por favor. But I thank you very much for watching. Hasta, hasta las martes. See you on Tuesday. I don't know if that was correct. I'm sorry if it wasn't. Hasta luego. Adios, mi amigos. I am so, so sorry for my accent. I'll get better. It's only been a year. It's only been a year. Only had a year to perfect it. But you know, here we are. <laughs> Bye, guys.